Collectible giveaway at bigcarflip.com. And by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to package your cards to be shipped to CGS for, for grading. And did I just say CGS? I meant to say CGC. <laughs> so uh, it's just so many acronyms you got to deal with. Oh, my gosh. Dealing with sports cards and comics and everything. But, yeah, uh, CGC uh, is who you want to submit to uh, is who I'm submitting to. So I have a, uh, my comics over here on the right. If you've seen the other videos where I select, I have videos of me selecting what comics from my PC I want to submit. Then I go through and I kind of look at a few of them, the condition that they're in. I don't know anything about grading. I have one graded comic. One. It's an Ultimate Spider-Man issue one because I absolutely was crazy for all Ultimate series uh, runs. But, uh, you know, obviously the, the whole... Every collectible, sports cards, every sport, and comic books. You, you want to get your stuff graded. All right, so let's get right into it. So I ordered, this is right here, the large kit from CGC. The large. It comes free. It's a $20 ca uh, um, card. It's a $20 kit. When you order the, uh, I'm sorry, it's a $20 kit, but it's free for members that are uh the medium so what is it they have three packages they have the the smallest the medium and then the large i forget what it's called but i got the um the medium package and it includes a free large kit which this fits 11 to 40 bucks all right so i i literally just received it in the mail it came just like this actually it was it came in a, a bigger box a slightly bigger box and so just cracked this open and we've got this we have let me sit down so we have some packaging instructions over here let's you can check this out for yourself when you get yours Again, it's twenty dollars, but I got it for free. I, I highly recommend getting the package for the uh, the medium package. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Hey, I got a pen. I got a. They sent me a pen. They must have heard about the channel. You know what I'm saying? No, just kidding. <laughs> I'm, every, everybody gets a pen. But I like to feel important sometimes. So CGC Comics has the phone number and the website. CGCComics.com. And uh, this right here, this pen, I'm sure, writes. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm, I know. I just have to test this out. I know this is going to write. Oh, this is nice. That's nice. That's nice. It's a quality of the pen so far. You know, all the, the little things that they've included so far. Excellent quality. I love the pen, actually. I'm not even joking. The pen is nice. I'm I'm crazy about pens. This is uh, like a Mont Blanc, you know? <laughs> if you know anything about pens, uh, Mont Blanc is, is where it's at. So, uh... We've got a 9.8 sticker where I can go ahead and I, I can, you know, stick this on a, on a comic and claim it to be a 9.8. Now, this is cool, man. I got to think of where I'm going to put that. For now, it's going to go in the, the box with my, uh, uh, this is my, my oldest son's pictures that I used to keep in my, when I worked in the field, I used to keep them in my visor. Uh, okay, we're sorry, sorry, we're getting, we're getting crazy, we're getting, it's just, I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited, okay, check this out, look at this, look at this, we got high quality bubble, I hope, my kids, my kids bubble wrap, if my kids find this, right now they're not home, man, if they find this, they'll be all popped, they'll all be popped by those kids. All three of them. I have three boys. Three boys. And they're all wild. They are all 
wild raw books inside what's the deal okay so we have a box here that's labeled raw books inside all right um, okay more raw books inside okay okay all right all right okie dokie smoky raw books inside very nice very nice they're different thicknesses whoa 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 oh now that one is anything else? oh look at this we have uh, trust me this is safe i know it looks like i'm struggling and i'm about to get hurt things falling at me but this is safe all right let's see let's see these are empty these are empty all right this has some tape on it put this off to the side for now look i wouldn't be puerto rican if i didn't have a knife close at hand all right here we go bam look at this look at this we have more bubble wrap for the kids just kidding just kidding all right for the books all right i don't they're obviously different sizes i wonder how many would fit in there all right let's put that off to the side now let's see i this has weight to it this has weight to it i'm going to guess that this is going to be filled with uh it's probably yep it's backboards and plastic bags for your books all right wow very very cool very cool um Those boxes say raw books inside. Okay, this one says raw books inside. All right, obviously we're not sending them raw. The books that I have are already in covers, except for one, actually. Okay, let me put that. You know what? Interview with the Vampire, issue one. All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. All right, here we go. We are going to... This is the way I do it, okay? I don't know if there's a right or wrong way. This is the way I do it. I put the backboard just in a little bit, and I put it in together. This is how I do it. Call me what you want to call me, but that's how I do it. Okay, voila, and I never put tape. Never put tape. I, I uh, years ago, I had a book. I don't remember which one it was. And a uh, little tape, you know, I'm taking out the book and it catches the, the, the comic. Oh, forget it, man. It, it, I have nightmares about it still to today. Okay, so interview with the vampire. Let's follow the instructions. All right. I know we're as guys, we, we like to, you know, do things without instructions. We get lost. We'll be in the middle of the, you know, nowhere. And somebody will be there with a map and we'll just wave them on by. But these are comic books. So one, two, three, four, five, six interview with the vampire books. You got to have your packaging slip. And if, uh, let's see what it says. All right, it says take out your stuff. Step one, organize your comic books. We have a box here of all the books I want to submit. And then it says here, prepare your boxes and books. All right, uh, put your comic books into bags and boards. Next, place your books in the exact order that they are listed on your packaging slip. This is easy. They're all the same book on this one packaging slip. All right, we're gonna st we're gonna start off with the easy one here. Okay, uh, grab your bubble bag. Grab the bubble bag provided for you and slide your books with the packaging slip inside. Tape the bubble bag closed. All right, 
So we're going to follow the instructions over here. I feel like I'm, I'm cooking something. All right. Okay, here we go. We have our books here. We have the packaging slip. Now, I was under the impression, but this, this is why we read instructions. It tells me exactly what to do, but I was under the impression you had to do something else. I'm not going to even mention it because it's not here. And why mention it if it's wrong, right? So you got to, it says here exactly right here. Put this right here like so. It doesn't say anything. I'm, I, I'm wrong. Okay. No problem. I'm wrong. Let's grab some bubble wrap, guys and gals. Let's get some bubble wrap. This one fell over here. We're going to grab some bubble wrap. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, okay. Okay. It's, it, these are bags of bubble wrap. Even better. Even better. I had no idea. This is beautiful. Beautiful. I love this setup. This large kit is ridiculous. They only have the large and the small. The small is 1 to 10 books. The large kit is 11 to 40, if uh, memory serves me right. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Beautiful. And for, for the sake of me being the way that I am, I'm going to shift the spines to be in the middle of the bag. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something like so. It doesn't tell me to do that, but it just makes me feel better that I have extra bubble wrap on the spine. And bam, look at that. Look at that. I feel like, uh, you know, this is, a, I, 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 this is the first time I ever do this, but I feel like a natural. All right. Please, in the comment section, let me know if uh, I'm doing something wrong. In your opinion and I could have swore I had uh, a painters tape in there and I don't okay Wow that that's bad all right let's just it doesn't tell me to tape it anyway so let's just keep it going all right we have that guy now it says grab the box that reads raw books inside and place in front of you. Okay, right there. Pull the top left edge on oh, cardboard up towards you, pivoting to the center. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, and then they have little pictures. When you get your kit, you can go ahead and look. But I'm not ready for all that because I need to put all of these together. All right, let's move on to the next set of books. Okie dokie. What do we have here? Oh, no, this one's not going. This is uh, Shazam, issue 28, first appearance of Black Adam. <sighs> All right. What do we have here? Now, we have different comic books with this setup. This is my signature books here, uh, the greatest Marvels of all time. Okay. So, we got to put it in the same... Okay, the greatest uh, Marvel moments, uh, Marvels, the great, the 100 greatest Marvels of all time. Okay, autographed by Stan Lee. So this one needs to be on top. So we'll put it face down. And actually, actually, I have these. Let me move this out the way because we're not ready for all this. Actually, I have these, if you notice, in thick holders. I'm going to remove them. No sense in sending that off. And I'm going to remove my certificate of authenticity because no sense in sending that either. Now, bam, this is going to be the first book. Now, what's the second book? X-Men number one. All right. Okay, find the X-Men number one, and of course, it's the last one, Murphy's Law, right? <laughs> Something's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and put this guy in there, number two, 
The second, the third book is going to be Amazing Fantasy 15. All right, better luck this one. It was on the very top. All right, these are all autographed by Stan Lee. I'm sure you guys have already seen my books, but just in case, I want to get them slapped. All right, don't argue. Oh, hey, look, I, I, I've heard all the, the stuff about, oh, I should have gotten it authenticated uh, from day one. Incredible Hulk. 181. Where is it? Where is it? There you are. Okay. The last one. All right, let's move it out of here. Just in case you want to look at it. Next one. Avengers 1. Again, in the back. All right, here we go. Avengers 1. Okay, there we go. Next book is going to be Avengers 1. Hulk 1. That, wow, okay. There we go, Hulk 1. Oh, uh, this one. This is the one that's autographed by Stan Lee and then Lou Ferrigno on this arm here. See that? Lou Ferrigno signed it on one arm of Incredible Hulk and then Stan Lee on the other. How cool is that? I don't know how many books you'll ever see that are like that. And these I personally got autographed. And I have a witness, my dad. <laughs> All right, so uh, Hulk, Tales of Suspense 39. That's Iron Man's book here. Here we go. Autograph is down here, across the leg. What am I doing? Okay, now what do we have? Fantastic Four, issue one. Yes. All right. So all these books. Here we go. Autograph here. Fantastic Four. Bam. Last but not least. It's Amazing Spider-Man. Bam. Autograph right here. Mr. Stan Lee. Now let's get some bubble wrap. Let's get some bubble wrap. All right. Here we go. Over like so. We have to put this in with it. There we go. All right. Get this in here. Bam. This set is ready to rock and roll. Where's the spine at? The spine is over here on this side. Beautiful. There we go. I want to fold it like so. I want, I was looking for the, I know I have a uh, painter's tape in the closet right there, but I should have been ready. I should have, I thought I had it here, but. Okay. So boom, we have two of them set up. Two stacks. What's the next set of books? Oh. Are you ready for the fire? Nah, you guys are not ready for no fire. We're going to... I mean, I think I, I think I showed fire already, but... All right, Fantastic Four, 40... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That's This is a packaging slip for for fire. We're not ready for all that. What, what is this? Amazing Spider-Man... Okay. I must be going crazy. I must be going crazy. All right. Where are these books? I never. Oh, here it is. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So the first book here is going to be Amazing Spider-Man 300. Let's find it. Look, the instructions say to put this stuff in order. Oh boy. I hear the wife. I hear the car, the garage. That means kids. That means kids. And if you have kids, you know. You know the dilemma that I'm in right now. All right, so 
got super expensive comic books out. The door is unlocked. Excuse me. All right. So, hey, Gavin, I'll be out in a minute. All right, so Amazing Spider-Man 300, Amazing Spider-Man 361. All right, 361, here it is. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm not, I don't know if you guys care to see the books. This is more about getting this, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 238. All right. Now, Amazing Spider-Man, Incredible Hulk, 449. Here. So, that's all that's in that set. How interesting. And that, I mean, not set, but that uh, packaging slip. I didn't, I didn't send, oh, okay, I, I, I see. So on the packaging slip, they sp split the books up here. You have comic and grading and pressing, which are these, and these are going to be comic, oh, and custom label. Okay, let me make sure that I, that's not the case on these other ones. Okay, no, no. Okay, all right, so moving on. So we've got G.I. Joe issue one, right here. All right, G.I. Joe issue one. Like so. Now we have Iron Man 282, that's War Machine. All right, it's this guy, War Machine. Let's, let's get this tape out of here. Let's get this tape out of here, why is there tape? Why in the world is there tape on these books? It's horrible. It's horrible. Obviously, I did not put the tape on the books. I bought them with tape on the books, and I always try to get rid of it as soon as I can. Look at this. this look at this. Thing. It's ridiculous. Look, it's my pet peeve. And you guys can do whatever you want to your bags and boards and books or whatever. But it is the tape free home tape free home all right i keep my books in a tape free environment i'm not messing with any of that all right so now we've got iron man first war machine now uh iron man 282 now comes gi joe 21 Ooh, a nice book okay make sure that i don't have because i know i have two of these all right so this is it G.I. Joe 21, first Storm Shadow. All right. With the, the movie coming out, Snake Eyes movie, that, that, that should be a nice uh, spec book. Um, something that, that may jump in value. So that's what I have for those. Oh, man, I'm showing, I'm showing off a little bit of fire, a little bit too much fire. I need to put that off to the side. So how many books is this going to be? I don't know. It's like, I'm not sure. It doesn't matter who's counting, right? I know it's under 40. That's all That's all that matters. It's under 40. All right. So, let's get this. Let's get this. Let's get this in here. There we go. Bam. You know what, this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it like this first. See how that works. No, I think folding it over here is gonna be better. All right, so now, see, this is why I locked the door. This is why. It, it's like, I have a force field going on, but it's, the strength of it is, it's being diminished by the second. All right. Before the invasion comes through, let's wrap this up. Fantastic 448. Where are we? This is the fire bag. This is going to be the fire group. 
Fantastic Four 48. Beautiful, beautiful, iconic book right here. Oh my Lord, I'm telling you, super excited about getting that graded. I've had these books for a long time, many years, never graded, never felt the need, but now it seems like that's what you gotta do. It's, you know, to fit in, you gotta get your stuff graded apparently. So, all right. So, oh, I'm sorry, Silver Surfer, uh, Silver Surfer 1. This, this, this is a thick book. Oh boy, I think I want to put change the bag on this one. I think I want to change the bag on this one. Let me put this here. Let's change the bag. Bag and board it. Hey, they sent me some official new bags and boards, so I might as well just use it. Look at that, owns double boarded. Okay. Hey, I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. All right. I don't know what kind of grade they're gonna come in at, but if, you know, I, I'm not anticipating in, any high grades. These books are ancient, in, in my opinion. They're old, very, very old books. So, all right. And this is a, this is, this is a really thick book. I'm having a hard time getting it to fit in this. Okay. There we go. So the first book was The Spire, right? Fantastic Four, 48, Silver Surfer Galactus. You already know about this book. The next book is going to be uh, Silver Surfer issue uh, one. And then you have the X-Men 12. Told you it was gonna be fire in this group. It's gonna be fire, first juggernaut, X-Men 12. Give me some fire out of here. Okay, let me just fix this a little bit. All right, now besides that, X-Men 12, now comes X-Men 14. Here it is, first Sentinel, X-Men 14. We got, a, we got the fire, we got the fire. Now comes Incredible Hulk 181, right here. And Secret Wars didn't make the cut. I, it's been a few weeks since I made this. But it didn't make the cut. That's fine. It didn't make the cut. That's fine. I'll just have to put it back with the rest of the books here in the shortly. Okay. So this, again, we flip this over. Just want to make sure. Why was it in that, that box? I don't know. I threw it in there by accident. All right, I gotta put it back with the rest of the PC. Now, uh oh, did I did I, did I run out of the bubble wrap? Oh no! Damn, I ran out of the bubble wrap, guys. They only they only sent me. Oh man, they only sent three of these and I have different packaging slips what am I gonna do what am I gonna do this is it because they all have to be individually separated <clears throat> all right no problem we're gonna think outside the box this is what we're gonna do We are going to We are going to <laughs> All right, we're going to take these out. So, keep this in mind. You're only going to get 3 of these. You're only going to get 3 of these. So, try to keep them uh in your orders in three orders. Obviously, I didn't. I had four. So I'm putting these in here. Because these are obviously high dollar. I mean, they're going to be protected. But I don't know. I feel like I want those in a bag. Plain and simple. 
this, I'm gonna have to use a little, you know, just, I hope this is cool. I mean, it is what it is. What am I gonna do? I don't have another one. They're gonna send me another one. It's like, CGC, send, you know, send five. Send five. Not that hard. Like, what's the deal? Now, I definitely need to get, oh man, this one is not even big enough. Man, I'm hurting right now. I am hurting. And this is supposed to be for the outside. Man. I am going to have to cut out a piece of this. I'm gonna have to cut out a piece to make this work. So, because this is, uh, oh, there's a, here, I found good and bad news. I found the tape. Bad news is I didn't find any more bubble wrap. I'm gonna have to just cut out. I'm, I'm gonna cut out a, a small section just to. Oh man! Look, do not do this at home. When you make your order, just just make your order in three different uh, packaging slips. And the reason why they're in different packaging slips is because you want your different types of books to be separated. Your between your modern and your your, uh, what do they call it, vintage? So, 1975 or 85, is it, the cutoff? I can't remember right now. But when you go through and you're picking your books, it'll tell you. So, you want to keep them separated. You don't want to mix your your modern and your... Don't worry, I'm going to make a, do a better job. This is just to hold it for now. Do something like this. Hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so that's why, because the thing is, when they receive their, the books, the older books are gonna have to go and be graded separately. So if you send them in together, they're gonna ship them back to you separately, because they're gonna be coming from two different departments, and that's gonna be a problem. That is going to be a problem, because so you, you're gonna spend more money on shipping. And obviously, we're trying not to do that. So keeping the stuff together. But I should have my, see, this is my fault. The vampire interview with the vampire books, I recently ordered uh, and I, uh, bought them and I added them. So if it wasn't for that, those are the books I have in my hand, we would be straight, we would be good. But... Uh, I did not want to, uh, I wanted to, you know, add these. The interview with the vampire books, man. I want to get these bad boys graded. I'm, I really enjoyed the books, the original, like, Anne Rice books. I was like, you know what, let me, the, the, with the whole show coming out, I was like, you know what, it may be a good idea. Look, I know I'm old being with the tape, but I really, really want to make sure that this, Okay, there we go. Now we get a little bit on the top, and that's it. We're good. Plumber's tape. I mean, plumber's tape. Uh, painter's tape. Hey, plumber's tape is, is, is pretty legit, man. Whenever you, you're fixing a, a faucet, I strongly advise using uh, plumber's tape. But that's a whole information for a whole nother type of video. So, all right. Uh, that's it. Let me get, I, I want to get one more piece on this right there. And bam, you don't, even, bro, you can't even tell the difference. Look, can you tell the difference of the one that I made, my own shrimp uh, bubble wrap bag? And theirs that they sent me, you can't. They're identical. Look, we're good. So, <laughs> I hope they're blind over there. This tape that was on the comic book, I had put it on the corner of the table here and it peeled off some paint. Oh man. So, 
Now we got to get these in one of these big boxes over here, or not one, but several. So let's see. Okay, I hope this one will, let's see, let's get this one and this one together. How many do we have? Let's, before. Okay. Let's see. Before I make the mistake of running out of boxes, like I just did. Okay. Let's look at the instructions. Look, mind you, I haven't done, I've never done this before, so. Okay, so you're supposed to make make the box, prepare your box, da, 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 fold the tab, okay. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Here we go. I'm supposed to leave it as is. They want me to leave it as is, huh? But man, these are, let me get the small one. This is like a bigger one. So you can tell by the thickness. Here, let me get the small one right here. Yeah, I got a hot mess going on right now. All right, let's get this in. I tell you right now. All right, there you go. Now I'm gonna use regular tape on that. Okay. All right, let's let's do it because that's gonna annoy me. The thing just open like that. All right. There it is. All right, we'll have that. See, nice. I like the way it's protected, man. All right. I mean, they don't have a problem with it. Okay, yeah, it says here, tape like this. Actually, it says here, tape two side pieces closed, securing the, the books inside. Repeat the process until, okay. All right, just wanna make sure that they don't have a, they don't have an issue. All right, so we we have this one done. Let's get let's get another small one over here. So how many boxes did he send? You gotta pay attention to this because look, it's one, two, three, four. So the same amount of bags. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna be, okay, I'm gonna be straight, okay. Actually, no, that's right, they didn't, they didn't. Okay, let's just get this done. This is, look, this is the first time. You can, you're looking at the process, so that way when you order your kit and you get your stuff in, you, you'll have a better understanding of what you need to order depending on what, what books you want to uh, submit. They're sending you four of these boxes but they only send three baggies. So you don't have to, I don't know, figure that out on, you know, what, whatever you, you feel is, is it that you need. Let's do this one right here. The natives are restless, I hear them. I hear them out there, man. All right. Bam. So the packaging slip for each one is with the books inside. Last but not least, the one that is special. Let's just leave it at that. The special package. Wow. Man, they said that big box and I was like, man, that's overkill. That's, 
that we don't I don't need all that. I do. <laughs> I ended up needing it. Alright, so now that we have that, where's the big box? Okay. Got the big box. Now we wanna put alright, slide these in. Let's slide these in. We're following the instructions to the T, bro. Wow, it's it's snug fit. It is a snug fit. It is a snug fit. Okay. Man, they, I tell you, man, they, they really have a nice, nice process to submitting the books, man. They, they, it's legit. Oh, but look. Look, I took, I took a, remember, I took a piece of that bubble wrap, but look. I don't even, they, the, in the instructions right here, again, just trying to do it exactly as, as they, they do. They just want a piece of bubble wrap for this little gap there or, or on the top. So the piece that I, I can probably get away with just using this. Well, no, I may have to use two pieces. Let's see. I want to. I want to put it in the gap because there's a gap between the books and the side of the box. So, just like that. Look at that. I got it jam packed in there now. Okay. We're good. And now, that's it really. Because I, they, they gave me another piece of cardboard to put on the top. So, that's it, man. So you know what? Actually, this bubble wrap you could use for more, uh, you know, more books. Probably another, you know, one set or two set of books if you wanted to. But remember, you don't have enough boxes. But I guess if you put them together, because remember, you only have four boxes. So, and you have to keep your comic books to grouped together. So either you put them like I did, I happen to have it perfect, but if I had a fifth, I was gonna have to put two of them together. There's no way you're gonna get 40 books in here, man. I mean, I don't wanna say no way, but man, I think I reached the limit. How many books was that? I think maybe if I had to estimate, what was that, about 25? Yeah, I think the, I think the limit is 25, maybe 30. But that's it. So that's, that's, that's the, look at that. That thing is, I mean, you're not getting anything else in there. So again, when some, now I know when submitting, you don't want to do more than four uh, packaging slips. And, hmm. And remember, if to fit them in that, in that box, you probably want to keep them separate. Each packaging slip slip separate that's the way going forward i'm gonna do it no more than four packaging slips in the large um but you, you know to each his own boom i'm gonna tape it and then uh i'll be sending this sending this off to cgc for grading and let's see i don't know the address uh off the top of my head, but yeah, there it is. Well, no, that's. I'm gonna double check on my on my invoices and stuff. Make sure that this is the correct address, because who knows? Maybe this is you know not where you're supposed to send it to, but I'm assuming that's where it needs to go. Okay. All right.